Hello everyone, RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more, 999, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors, I think I'm just going to say 999 from now on, <laughs> it's a little uh, easier that way, in the previous video we started our escape and I, well I didn't fail, it just took me a long time to actually do the escape, because god damn, <clears throat> that, that took some time, so, anyway, we escaped through our door, so now we gotta find out what's happening now with Junpei. Ow! Ugh, my head! Wait, is it... is it over? Yeah, you won. Whew. Congratulations. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Huh. Damn. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. Oh. A door! Another door! <clears throat> Damn, this is water! Ugh. Let me go! Huh, yes, it opened! What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well... Looks nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Uh... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! Sea uh, deck <laughs> Alright, sea deck B deck Hurry! Hurry! Uh, a deck's next! What's up? People! A lot of people. Um... Uh... Um... Uh... I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. S silver hair? Huh? <laughs> One of us, huh? W what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Oh my god, is that Richard Epcar? Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Are you coming? You gotta hurry! Oh, I love her voice! That's nine of us then. All of the Prince. cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. And I'm just saying all this out loud. Huh? Uh... Huh. <sighs> uh... Ah. What was that all about? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Eh? Mountain. The doors on A deck are no good! We gotta check the doors on B deck! Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey man! That was dangerous! Huh? Four? And this one says... Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. Yep, that's Richard Epcar. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? Ah, oh, who is your voice? Shit. 
open, damn it! Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, Silver, I'm trying to remember what your name, what, who's your voice actor? <laughs> Body slam from a guy that big didn't even budget. Dude, you need to stop talking. There must be some other way. Out loud. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. Oh, now you start thinking so in that your means head. This door is probably locked too. But still. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Are there any other doors? Oh, hello, hello. He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs next to an orient clocked in bed in the wall, he saw a person. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't com confined by her beauty or something. Quite... Oh, uh, yes, or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off this girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. That girl, too, start stared at Junpei similarly stunned. I think with this, I won't auto-advance. With the voices, I'll auto-advance. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Hmm? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly towards her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpei st stepped out onto her landing, this onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Yeah! Quake caught the girl unprepared and she Watch fell. Out! Moving on, instinct Junpei led to catch her, or so he thought. face was far closer than it should have been. Mere inches from his own. Yeah. It was flat on his back and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did and her face suggested she still hasn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at one another. The ship started shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship. Lapping faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete. Thick, muffling blanket. At least the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Jumpy! Jumpy! Her words echoed through Junpei's head and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane! Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurosaki. Kurosaki? Kurosiki? She and Jubei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. That moment. Alright, we're back to the advanced thing. What? What's that voice? Yeah, I invited us. This right. is that guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us?
Nonary game. Nonary game. What the hell's that? Nonary game. Nonary game. Okay. What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? Terribly. On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Yep. Simple as that. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one oh, number door. Three to five people, okay. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. <laughs> yep, we have nine hours to make our escape. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. Was that, um, Matt Mercer? It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Hey, you bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. Ugh. Whew. Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us, or does he have some other purpose? Hmm. I'm sure he has some purpose. Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others. Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. 
Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Yep. Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this, this Zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I I'm saying animations. let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Well, they have a little out apple on his head. Hat there. We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. Hmm. No, that's not He Matthew said Mercer. that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <laughs> Where you go there, Prince? <laughs> that's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, ah. we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device either. Nope. It's locked. This one too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Yeah, oh. the force was a little a bit much. Look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. Uh-huh. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? I want to start doors. saying their names, but I can't. I they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. 
May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. Saturn? It's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door... I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. There! The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. Oh my god, what's your fucking name? She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This that name is voice. an earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. God damn it. First of all, the voices the are Windows fantastic. Two. Second of all, who are they Robert. besides Richard Epcar? Ah. In other words. Trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. Ah! If I could just figure out the game that you she don't was know in that. two. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, Two of them, at least. Yeah, the number oh, doors. You mean the number doors? Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. But what else are we supposed to do? We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. But what else are we supposed to do? If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. But what exactly are we supposed to, supposed to do? Wait to die? May as well give it a shot. We can't stay here forever. Yes. I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that! In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink! Uh, that kind of reminds me of something hey, from Dragon Ball. shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. Proper introductions! What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy. Jump. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junfei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! Uh, how don't know would, how much though? that bastard knows about us. Probably knows a lot. 
Maybe he just picked a to bunch of random fair. people to kidnap. Oh, maybe. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. True. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. Yep. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Okay. Like code names. I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, San means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Yeah, sure. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, yep. it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Ace! Finally. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm hey, sure Lotus. you all know, it has eight petals. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. Snake. There are two. My bracelet number is two. Snake Eyes, that's two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake Eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Yep, Snake is blind. You can't see? I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. Finally, I can say Clover! You I love Clover like so much. Clover. Good luck, right? Yes, I love Clover so much. Alright, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be. Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Still. Oh. Then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. <laughs> You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. It's weird that they're still saying Silver They're not and Mountain. They're not uh, saying what their names, their code names are. Number? It's six. All right, well, then. You'll go uh, by why don't we call June. you June? June? Six month. Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Ah, uh, yeah. Yay! Oh, okay, then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Ace. Two is Snake. Snake. Three is Santa. Santa. Four Clover. is Clover. Five is me. Junpei. Six is June. June. Seven, seven. is Seven. Lotus. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. So... The only one left is... Yeah, where's that ninth guy? That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? <sighs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. Let's call them nines. What's your code name? Uh, code name? 
What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. Huh? You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah? All right. Let me show you. Over. I'm gonna do this! <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back! Ah, yikes! If you get any closer, I'll cut her open! Uh. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? You sick son of a bitch! I love Seven! Ah, he's so cool. Worry. It's nice to actually hearing voices to these guys after, like, you know, playing if it the first time. she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here. Verify. <laughs> the left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. Damn. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now! Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this? Beep beep. So that's how it works. Alright, that's four. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Mm-hmm. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Yeah, the door will open, finally. Simple. Door five. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? I mean, it's kind of obvious. I mean, that's how you figure it out with the cards in your room. But he probably knows exactly what's Good. going on. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Okay, so that's now, four. Verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? That's one, that's five. Is that the door he's at right now? Both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door. Mm hmm But it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Yep. So he has to put his own hand up there. Be nine. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen. fourteen. And the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. In other words... <laughs> 
Hey, dude, it is on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Ah, the door Good. open. I don't need you anymore. <gasps> Wait! Here! She's all yours. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then. Goodbye! Okay, bye. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Aww. Damn it! That bastard! <clears throat> Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Haven't we figured that Do out now? Do you hear now? something? Like, what? Like, some sort of... Beeping. Yeah, I heard it. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You... you lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Goodbye. Ah, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Engaged. Is it because it's occupied? Yep. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! Man, if only you just told me who! Bye! A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Alrighty. Um, okay, so five, that's six. That'll be 14. That's seven, that's 14. So, I honestly don't think, it doesn't really matter who I pick. It's nine, that'll be 14. Let's go with Santa and June. Santa and uh, um, June, uh, you think you could give me a hand here? <laughs> hmm. Five plus three plus six is 14. Mm -hmm. The digital root of 14, one plus four equals five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Oh my god! Alright guys. Well, I'm going to end the part here. That's right. Gotta leave some suspense, I suppose. Haha. <laughs> so, in the next part of Let's Play 999, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors, we will see what has become 
of the ninth man. If you can already see by the doors, you can probably tell. So yeah. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you like about the video, what you didn't like about the video, and let me know who do you think he meant when he said he killed him. Such, you know, no spoilers if you haven't played this game, but only guess if you haven't played the game or if you haven't, if you don't know the answer, which is fair. If you know the answer, say, yeah, I, I didn't know this answer. I played the game before, so, yeah. As well as, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. So, as follow me on Twitter, both my main Twitter, the RPG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.